namaste uh, before we start to the next lecture about emotions uh, i got some questions from the seekers first question is in the last chapter chapter 22 he asked me a question that i told in the last chapter that love is a result of devotion but he said that everywhere he read philosophy or psychology or in religion or religious teacher everybody say that when you are in love the devotion happens when you fall in love you become a devotee but in chapter 22 i am saying totally different that love is a result of devotion why all right the answer is first of all when we talk about spiritualism spiritualism is something beyond mind beyond words spiritualism is experience own experience like love is an experience love cannot define in the words so many people try to define it but it's very hard to define love same thing with whatever is related with spiritual world like devotion love you cannot describe it fully so we always describe spiritual experience on the mind level that is on a material world material world has forms label languages so somehow the teacher spiritual teacher they have to describe on mind level in shape of symbols language so they are trying their best to project their experience in words but it's very difficult whoever the best teacher in history they tried their best in words so that it helps the seeker exactly where the spiritual is talking about spiritualism is never lies in words your question is that when you are in love the devotion happens you are absolutely right why because in material world everything is in vicious circle vicious circle like if i ask you a question that the night is first or the day is first which one comes first or the chicken comes first or the egg comes first same thing what is the because earth is in a round shape what is the beginning point and what is the end point so it's very hard to to describe what is the first because everything is in a vicious circle if you see everything is in a cycle on a material world we have to take some reference station point like if we measure the height of certain point we say okay this is 1200 or 12000 square feet from the sea level sea level is our reference point then we take different station reference point same thing we have to say australia the sun rises from the australia first sun rises in australia continent first we have to take a reference point so that we can invent timing all the science all the physics everything is based on the reference point we have to take some reference point same thing 
when we say devotion devotion because when you fall in a devotion when you are devotee the love happens love happens and when the love happens it go in a vicious circle then love happens then devotion happens devotion happens love happens love happens devotion happens this is how the things happen you have to understand this because words are not sufficient to describe the experience describe the spiritual world i cannot describe each and everything in details because lot of people already speak about all these things that's why those who are already has a knowledge my lectures is going to helpful because small small things is very hard to describe in same thing i am going to discuss emotions in the last chapter i give brief introduction what is the emotion i told that in a simple layman language emotion is a waste of memories memories are the food for the mind and emotions are the result of those food in the shape of waste in the shape of like body whatever you eat the waste comes in a shape of sweating urine heat cold bowel movement same thing the emotions are the result of food memories the memories is a food for the mind without memories mind cannot run if there is no memory there is no mind without memories how is this possible to run a mind all the world is made of memories if you have memories then you can make this world and emotions are associated with some form of energy wavelength some different kinds of wavelengths emotions are a result of when mind eat the memories and the emotions comes with the energy and that energy with different wavelengths is projected through the body and this incident again is recorded in the memory whatever the incident like a memory okay let us say that i see a beautiful girl or i see a person a superstar when i see him because he was my favorite star so my mind takes a memory from the storage house oh, oh, oh this superstar i was watching him on cinema or t television this is my favorite star so memories comes in the mind the desires starts coming from the memory that my desires is let's meet him personally because he is in front of me i have an opportunity to meet with him so desires is to meet with him these desires will create the emotions not the memory from memory the desires creates desires comes from the environment but memory has to pop out memory comes in the motor mind is like a machine memories are a feeder these are memory this is the machine mind the memories goes and the mind start eating mind start eating and right same time my senses are observing the environment oh this is a star 
and desires comes out from the environment i already discussed in previous chapters as soon as i get the desires my mind start working that how can i meet the superstar my mind start working on to fulfill the desire if let us suppose i am able to meet the superstar my desire get fulfilled the emotion the happy emotions will come out i feel feel very happy why because my mission is fulfilled that happiness will reflect through my body my smiling face my body is full of rhythm a positive wave wavelength energy positive energy full of vibrations with positive vibrations this emotions mo- emotion means motion motion means something is in motion something is in excitement so this motion comes out the energy motion means a wavelength like a positive negative positive negative you know the in physics there is a wavelength goes up and down up and down this is a motion wavelength waves something motions comes out and that motion reflect that i am happy i am excited so these emotions is fulfilled now all this incident again is recorded in my memory house memory storage house all this incident next time and i all this incident now is labeled with a happy memory now all this incident from from the desires to the fulfillment with the superstar whole episode is gone in a memory and this whole incident is now labeled label this whole incident is labeled what kind of label we have to give some name we are in a mind level we don't need we don't give name on the memory but to make you understand we have to give some name okay that's why words are confusing every lecture has a different meaning so i ha- let us suppose i give this incident name a joyful or happy memory now this happy memory incident goes back in my memory house this incident is very emotional for me emotional happy memory now when next time i again i will see that superstar in a television right away that incident will come up pop out in my mind and i will get again excited every time i see him the happy emotions will come out now the emotions already is in my memory happy emotions every time i will see him something pleasant moments will arise now that's why i say vicious vicious circle it's a vicious circle make up circle vicious circle circle is no and no beginning i say that memory is a waste for the food but that memories goes again back in the same 